Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video on Cucumber. In this video, we'll mainly focus on data-driven testing in Cucumber. So if you have gone through uh, Selenium, then we have a data provider. Using data provider in TestNG, we can easily implement data-driven testing. But here, the scenario will be different. So today, we'll see data-driven test using scenario outline. And uh, we are going to use one example. So example is a keyword in uh, Cucumber. So using this example and the combination with scenario out outline, we can easily add this data-driven feature in our Cucumber test. So if you notice here, we need to specify scenario outline. So till now, we have used only scenario. So if you want to work with scenario outline, you need to add one more uh, keyword called outline here. So I will show you directly. So this is my previous project. I renamed all the files to new test runner, new smoke test, new and the feature my application new and rest everything is same. So if you see in the previous one, we have this scenario. Now I will add one more thing called outline. Now we need to add one example. Uh, let's take this examples. And here you need to use this pipe operator. And you need to specify what will be the columns. So let's say I have two columns. One is username, one is password. I, I need to pass two username passwords. So let's say this is first mukesh at the rate gmail.com and the password will be pass w or let's say password one pipe operator again. So I will copy paste this. I need to execute this three time with different set of data. So this is let me make it two. password two and this is three. That's all. So if you see in the previous video in double quotes we have added right. So if you are working with scenario outline and if you are using these examples, you need to use this less than and greater than here. Same thing we will do for another one, less than and greater than. So now you can see there's no uh, relation between these when and these examples. So how it will identify where we need to pass these values. So this is the column name that you have to pass here and this is the column name which you have to pass here that's all so now when you run this feature file or using test runner first it will check where is this example so it will match with these so when you start executing it will take the first set of data and it will execute the scenario in the second uh, execution it will take the second record and third record and if you have any more it will continue otherwise it will stop so currently this is our scenario and we have three different rows so it will execute the scenario three times with different set of data so if you right click on this here you will get one option called pretty format if you simply use this it will format accordingly so now it looks nice so don't worry, you can start writing the code and once you're done, simply right click and say pretty format. You don't have to do any uh, more changes in the smoke test. So let's run this test runner now. And in the previous example, we added so many kind of reports. So I'm not interested. So I will only keep the HTML report. And I have some existing reports, so I will delete this Look, it is not in sync. So I will right click, I will say run as Maven clean. So this is the feature of Maven. It will automatically clean my project and it will delete this target directory. So you can see deleting target directory. So now this empty. Now let's run this test runner and run as J unit test. Again, the same issue here. Maybe I need to change the workspace. So let me do the same thing. I will copy, create a copy of it. 
you won't find this issue there's something wrong with this eclipse maybe I will update to the new one okay same thing so I will create a copy of it and I will paste yeah so now let's run this test runner again so the test is started so it is running these okay don't worry about this if you're facing the same issue you can create a copy of it and run it maybe in the next time I will change the Eclipse version and I will use the latest Mars so right now you can see it is starting my test so in first shot it will execute my cucumber with this set of data and if you can see it is running in the background now second time so it's already completed second time it will start with this set of data so this is second run Mukesh 2 and password 2 done and you will see this will also say passed now the third one is running with the third set of data so it will execute so you can see we have not done any changes in the step definition file we have only done changes in the feature file so only thing which you need to keep in mind you need to change this scenario outline you need to use this less than greater than sign and these should be the same as the column name which you are passing and this should be the examples not example so once you are done you will get you can see three scenarios even though we have given one scenario here but we have given this example with three set of data so you will get result as three scenarios executed 12 step pass because for every scenario we have four steps and if you refresh your project you will find a target directory and again index.html So now you can see it is able to detect the examples and it says same feature file executed three times with this particular set of data. First scenario outline executed with this set of record, second with this set of record and the third one is this. So you can see it's quite interesting and very easy to follow. You don't have to write two dimensional array then store in a array then return the data provider it's quite easy with this cucumber so now you might have noticed here we are using this hard-coded data so this approach is perfectly fine if you have the uh, very limited set of records but we have to take this test data from the external files either it can be from your Excel file or database or CSV file so that is our next step as of now you can hard code this and you can run your data driven test in future we will discuss how we can run this through Excel as well so this is what I have for in this video tutorial so hope you will implement the same next time I will come with Eclipse Mars and hope you will not get this runtime issue it's linking to some other file so this is what I have for this tutorial so thank you so much for watching this video and if you still have any doubt you can drop me an email thank you so much